So I'm a, I'm a sports guy, so I love to draw sports analogies, right? Yeah. So I think about um, any high-performing team, especially in a professional sports stage, right? Um, have we ever heard of a high-performing team that didn't practice before the game? I've never heard of that. So would you say that they're overproducing by practicing, by studying the game plan, by communicating, by coordinating, by understanding what they need to do on game day? I would not. I would say they're preparing, right? And when the Patriots, I'm a fan of Bill Belichick, what he says is proper planning prevents poor performance, right? So without the plan, right, you're going to miss the ability to perform at a high level. Definitely not over preparing or over uh, production in my mind. Yeah, again, I would say it's actually fairly simple. You know, sometimes we make some of these things very complex, but, you know, I, I know of no project manager in the industry that if a trade partner calls them up and says, hey, I'd like to talk about how to really efficiently plan this work with you, that would say, no, I don't want to sit down and talk to you about that. I know of no superintendent with enough notice and enough planning that would say no to that as well, right? So it's actually quite simple. It's about proactively communicating and planning that intent. So if we, if we create cultures where people are okay with that, then those types of interactions can happen, and they do happen. And again, keep it simple. It's simply about sitting down with the team, starting the communication, and then as things progress, you broaden that communication to involve the rest of the trade partners, the other people that are involved in your scope of work, and that coordination will allow you to be better at executing your work in the field.